Okay, we have a friend, Crispin, that says, are there any performance differences between the original Carter AFB and the current Edelbrock? Now, we know they're not interchangeable parts, but he's talking about the performance part of it. He says, I guess I'm old school, and I just want to justify my resistance to change. He likes the Carter. What do you think? A lot of people like the Carter. Okay. There's a guy the other day who to know who has some. And I have some. I think I have some of those carburetors here, someplace out in the shed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just hard to get parts for them. I think there's there isn't any difference in them. Okay. I think now with the Edelbrock carburetor, you might buy more parts for it. The spray nozzles for the accelerator pump, different sizes, and springs. Right. For the for the uh, secondary secondary rods. There were color springs and sizes, and, and one of the guys I was talking to the other day, I had breakfast, and, and I've known, I think I worked on his car. He's got a special Oldsmobile here in town that he's had it since 1965. Okay. And uh, I worked on it in maybe 1968 or something, changed the gear ratio in or something. We have breakfast once in a while, mm -hmm. and he was telling me that, and I accused him of having tinkeritis. Okay. And he's messing around with these springs and different things. And, and basically what he has is a pretty good size camshaft in that car. Mm. I tell him, you missed the whole thing. You need to call me and ask me some questions about this thing and get it right in the first place. And he actually should have drilled some holes, small holes, in the primary butterflies and the rear of the shaft. Okay. He's got it idling so fast where it's not an idle circuit. Oh, okay. So he needs to drill those teeny holes in there so he can close his butterflies and get in the idle circuit better. Okay. Then it will idle. And he's changing springs and all kinds of stuff, trying to accomplish that. And he should have done this in the first place. So just oh. to understand carburetors a little better, because I don't know very much. Well, a lot of people, we talked about that yeah. at the dyno shop. Yeah. People, there's a lot of parts made for this Edelbar carburetor. Sure. Chats and stuff. And, Pretty soon you, the car will be terrible. And most of the time, you need to leave it like it is unless you're a carburetor specialist with some instruments, some... Uh, Probably instrument. vacuum gauge, vacuum oxygen, gauge and, sensors. And, and the sensors to yeah. Yeah, see where it's rich or not. Right. Or what it is. Yeah. But they're fairly simple. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's good. Good luck.